Breaking news, Canada's men's basketball team makes Olympic comeback. After Steve Nash era, in a thrilling showdown, Canada's men's basketball team has secured their ticket to the Olympics for the first time since the 2000 Sydney Games. This is a huge deal, folks. Led by the incredible all-NBA guard Shea Gilgis-Alexander, the Canadian squad pulled off an impressive victory against the world's top-ranked team, Spain, with a nail-biting final score of 88-85. This win also propels them to the FIBA World Cup quarterfinals, marking their first time back since they hosted the tournament in 1994. Why was this game so critical, you ask? Well, here's the scoop. If Canada hadn't beaten Spain, they'd be looking at a last-chance Olympic qualifier next year, likely in June. But now, it's Spain's turn to face the pressure in one of those last-chance tournaments. Talk about a role reversal. Now let's talk Olympics. Canada has punched its ticket to Paris, joining the U.S., who also qualified on the same day, along with host nation France, Australia, South Sudan, and Japan. But wait, there's more. The top two European teams at the World Cup will also secure their spots, and four additional nations will make it through the last chance qualifiers. One interesting tidbit. Canada boasts more NBA players than any other nation, except for the United States. They've come close to qualifying for recent Olympics, but just missed the mark. What's truly remarkable is that Canada secured their Olympic berth without key players like Jamal Murray, the NBA champion point guard for the Denver Nuggets, and Andrew Wiggins a 2022 all-star forward for the Golden State Warriors. NBA stars often skip the World Cup to rest up for the Olympics, so it's a big deal that Canada made it without them. To give you a taste of past heartbreak, in 2021, a Canadian team with eight NBA players lost in overtime to the Czech Republic, a team with just one NBA player, in a last-chance Olympic qualifying tournament. In 2016, they narrowly missed out on a Rio Olympic berth against France. And in 2015, a Canadian squad loaded with nine NBA players shockingly lost to a Venezuelan team with zero NBA players in a North and South American tournament. The last time Canada graced the Olympic stage in 2000, it was Steve Nash leading the charge with a determined team that almost made it to the medal round. Nash and center Todd McCulloch were the lone NBA players on that squad. Nash's dedication was so fierce that he reportedly shed tears and had to be dragged off the court after their quarterfinal loss to eventual silver medalists, France. In sum, Canada's journey back to the Olympics has been a roller coaster of emotions and challenges, but they've done it. The Maple Leaf will be proudly waving at the Paris Games, and basketball fans across the nation are celebrating this monumental achievement. Go Canada!